Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science and Simplifying Expressions. And these contain uh, basic, these are basic problems. So with this particular problem, we have 6x minus 3y plus 4x minus 2y minus 8x. In this particular problem, the first thing we need to do is combine like terms. And next, we only have subtraction and addition. So in this particular problem, we really don't need to worry about order of operations. The next problem will have some order of operations that we'll need to take into account. So what we're going to do, you always work in alphabetical order. Since X comes before Y, we'll worry about these first. And to help you with this, and you may want to do this, I'm going to subtract all the, excuse me, underline all the X's in this color. Okay, and then I'll put the Y's. Let's try green. Okay, and that way that just kind of helps you identify the different terms. So you can combine like terms. So let's rewrite. We have 6x and a positive 4x and a negative 8x. 6 plus 4 is 10 minus 8 is 2x. Now let's combine the y's and so I'm going to look for what's underlined in green and watch the signs. We have a negative 3y and a negative 2y, and that equals negative 5y. Now, when you write the expression, you go in alphabetical order, and you also go in a cubed would come before a square. So, I'm going to rewrite it. 2x minus 5y, because x comes before the y. So, that's the first one. Now, let's look at one that we need to worry about the order of operations a little bit. Okay, now let's look at this next problem and we need to take in the order of operations in order to get this correctly. Now you may have heard of PIM does. Ooh, that's a bad P. PIM does. And what that stands for is parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, arithmetic, or addition, and subtraction. And you always work from left to right. So when we look at this problem, we have a parentheses. So I'm going to distribute the 5. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times a negative 4 is negative 20. Watch the signs. Now this next one, we need to distribute it. And you can think of the negative sign as a 1. Negative 1 times x is a negative x. Negative 1 times 7 is a negative 7. Now what we do is, again, we combine like terms. So let's see what we have here. I'm going to underline the x's in green so you can kind of see them. And then I'm going to place the constants, or you may call them numbers, in red. So I'm going to first, remember we're going to work, uh, well it doesn't matter, but in uh, alphabetical order. But let's go ahead and use the exponents first. This is like x to the first power. So 5x minus x is a 4x, negative 20 negative 7 is negative 27. Now you need to write them. This is x to the first power. This is 27. It really has no power or you could say 0. So you always write it in descending order. For instance, if we, you had x cubed, uh, x4, x, and then 20, you would write it x to the fourth, okay, and let's say that's a positive and a positive and a positive and a negative. You could go x to the fourth plus x to the third plus x minus 20. Okay, And then secondly, you write it in alphabetical order if you have more than one, say if you had an x and a y. Again, I hope that helps in simplifying expressions.